بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو اور کلاس آف سیل بایولوجی جینیٹکس اینڈ ایولوشن ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی اسٹارٹیڈ دا ٹاپک آف لنکیج اور لنکڈ جینس اینڈ وی فاؤنڈ آؤٹ دیٹ سنس دا نمبر آف جینس ان این آرگنزم اٹ فار ایکسیڈس دا نمبر آف کروموسومس سو ایچ کروموسوم carries several genes and all the genes present on a chromosome are known as linked gene and this phenomenon this presence of genes on the chromosome several genes on the chromosome or many genes on, the, on a chromosome is known as linkage so in this video we are going to uh, take a look at an example of linkage and that is linkage in maize by studying this example we are going to find out or we are going to learn how the linked genes are transmitted transferred from parents to offspring we are studying linkage in maize because maize plant provides a very good example of linkage it was studied by c b hutchison back in early 1920s uh, in 1922 hutchison crossed two varieties of maize uh, one of them in which the uh, seeds were his crosses were related to the phenotypes of the seed so in one of the variety the seeds uh, were full and colored we usually call it colored full that is uh, full of endosperm or the seeds were filled out they are a very healthy seed and uh, their alluron layer was colored so seeds appeared colored and they were full so we usually uh, write it or express it colored full and he crossed this particular variety to another variety of maize in which uh, the seeds were shrunken that is uh, they were not very healthy seeds and they were not full pinched and shrunken and they were also colorless that is their alluron layer was colorless so these were the two varieties that he crossed colorless and shrunken was crossed to colored full the symbols for these genes that were used uh, they are c c for colored and s for smooth or full seed and small c lower case c for colorless and lower case as far shrunken now it was already known to hutchison that these particular pairs of alleles they were dominant over these pair that that is the colored character or phenotype was dominant over colorless and full seed phenotype was dominant over the shrunken phenotype so it was already known now since this is a case of a linked gene so the convention is or the methodology of writing the linked genes the combination of linked genes is such that we do not express it in this way as we do in a normal cross mendelian cross or in which we are following two traits the independent assortment cross so the convention or method of writing combination of linked genes is such that we write uh, one pair above the line and the other pair below the line so this is how these alleles or genes enter the cross so c small c and small s and lower case c and lower case s so these are the two parents and their uh, genetic combination or their genes since these genes are linked so they are present on the one chromosome and they are present on the other chromosome since chromosomes occur in pairs 
So this is located on the same chromosome in other variety, but these are recessive genes. So they were, these are the parents. And now since both these varieties are homozygous for these alleles, this one colored full and this one colorless shrunken. So all their gametes will be of the same type with respect to these alleles. So all of L, uh, all the gametes of this particular parent would be colored and full and gametes of this particular parent would be colorless and shrunken. F1 would be as expected. We would get CS and small c and lowercase c and lowercase s. Since these two alleles are dominant over these, the phenotype of the F1 uh, it is very obvious it would be colored and full because these two alleles are dominant which are above the line they are dominant over the alleles which are below the line now to determine the degree of linkage or this linkage phenomenon we usually do not self or uh, do the selfing of uh, f1 Instead of selfing F1, what is done that the F1 individuals, they are crossed, they are crossed to a homozygous recessive, this one. So this is F1 individual, colored full, and it is crossed to a colorless shrunken. Now, had it been the case of independent assortment, then we would have obtained uh, four offsprings or four varieties of offsprings in equal proportion. One is to one is to one is to one. And if these genes were not linked and uh, if uh, it would have been a cross of uh, case of simple assortment, then we would have obtained uh, apart from these two parental combinations which are colored full and colorless shrunken uh, we would get colored shrunken and colorless full because of the independent assortment however the results that were obtained by Hutchison they were totally different they were not uh, one is to one is to one is to one instead the parental combinations were obtained in excess of the 50% over 90% and the recombination that is colored shrunken and colorless full uh, they were of a very small percentage now if uh, it seems a little confusing to you you can go back to our previous videos that we have already studied in the case of independent assortments that is when the genes are not linked so uh, very quickly let me show you that what do I mean? Suppose these genes are not linked, so it would be uh, the F1 individual would be C, C, and S, S. We would uh, write it like this instead of uh, showing it this way, we would write it like this. Now, this particular individual would produce uh, four gametes, and that is C, S, uh, C, and S lowercase c and uppercase s and lowercase c and lowercase s we are crossing it to uh, uh, the cross is made between the f1 and this homozygous recessive so cs and uh, cc and ss since this is uh, homozygous for both the alleles its gamete would be c and s lowercase c lowercase s so these are the gametes of the uh, f1 and these are the gametes of the homozygous recessive now make the cross this gamete would combine with this one and then this one and you can do it yourself and as you can see that we would get what uh, c c and s and s and then this uh, uh, this particular uppercase c and lowercase c and since they are both lowercase s so we have obtained a new variety colored shrunken and in this case it would be uppercase c and 
sorry it would be uh, both lower case c and an upper case s so this is colorless uh, full and finally c c lower case c lower case s so as you can see we would get one is to one is to one is to one if it was the case or it would have been the case of independent assortment uh, one ratio one ratio one ratio one all the offspring when an f1 individual is crossed to a homozygous recessive all the offspring would be uh, in equal proportion however as i just told you that uh, when this particular cross was made uh, the results were uh, not like that of independent assortments so let's see what are those results that were obtained by hutchins so let's see what are those results uh, that were obtained by Hutchison back in 1920. So these are the results uh, that were obtained by, or these were the results that were obtained by Hutchison. So uh, this particular column, it shows you the phenotype and this one the genotype and this one the number. The numbers have been slightly shifted to the left. Anyway, so this is colored full. As you can see, this is colorful. The first uh, parental combination, it is 4032. This is colorless shrunken. The other parental combination, 4035. This is 4032. Now, these two are the recombinations colorless shrunken and colored full. This one is 149, and this one is 152. So out of total of 8,368 seeds that uh, Hutchison obtained, 4,032 were colored full like one of the parent and 4,035 like the other parent. So uh, this is the uh, F1 individual CS. Remember, we are crossing to F1. Uh, homozygous recessive was crossed to F1. So these are the parents. Uh, this is the one of the parent and this is the other parent. And this is CS and CS. So this is 4032 and the number of uh, seeds with this phenotype are 4035 out of 8368. Whereas the new varieties in which we have uh, colored and shrunken it is only 149 and in another case in which we have uh, colorless full the number is 152 a very small percentage so this is because of the uh, linkage and uh, you might be wondering that if the genes are linked how did we manage to get or how did Hutchison manage to get these recombinations in the previous video I told you when the link genes are together they usually do not separate and when they have been separated by some means they do not come together again so how these uh, pairs the CS and CS and this particular pair separated to produce new combinations I don't worry about it we are going to discuss it very shortly so uh, let's uh, see this result in terms of percentage so let's see uh, this result in terms of percentage and let's take it to one side so that you can see it more clearly what's going on so uh, this is the parental combination colored full 4032 this is the another this is another parental combination uh, colorless shrunken 4035 total 8067 percentage is 96.4 so the combination of this uh, when we add these two so they represent 96 Point four of the total offspring total progeny and these are the recombination colored and shrunken and colorless full this is 149 this is one 
52 total 301 and they represent about 3.6 of the parental combinations uh, they they represent about 3.6 of the total uh, total offspring or total seeds that were produced so why we are getting these results why not one ratio one ratio one ratio one as i already told you this is because of the linkage since the genes are linked so they remain together and when they remain together we get parental combination in excess of 50 percent so we usually don't get by it test crossing an f1 individual with a homozygous uh, recessive we do not get this one is to one is to one is to one ratio instead we get more than 50 percent in this case it is 96.4 of the parental combination and only 3.6 percent of the recombinations so this is a very uh, clear cut and uh, a uh, very good example of linkage we are going to see the cross and we are going to find out how uh, these recombinations were made or where did they come from and that is our topic of the next video uh, hopefully uh, you have got the concept of linkage and linkage in maize or what are linked genes and how they are transmitted so more about linkage in the next video Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.